The Vue team introduced a new feature in the Vue 3 core library, called Component Teleporting. Teleporting allows us to define a component in one place, then render it somewhere else in the DOM tree, even outside the scope of the Vue application instance. By default, we mount our application onto a single div element in the index.html file. Our application is mounted to that node in the DOM, and all the components we define will be injected into it. If we try to use the components outside of the div, they won't work. The teleport built-in component gives us the ability to break out of that DOM tree. So, we can render a component into a DOM node that's not in this div tag. To use the teleport component, we wrap the component we want to teleport with open and close teleport tags. Then, we use the to prop to tell view where we want to mount it with any valid JavaScript query selector. To demonstrate, let's modify our multi-step form example from the previous lesson to render one of the step components in the default DOM tree and another outside of it. We'll start in the index file and create a new div below the div with the app ID. We'll give the new div an ID of port and add some inline styling to help with the demonstration. This is where we'll mount one of the step components. In the root app component, we'll teleport the step B component to the port div. When we take a look in the browser, everything in the step B component will have the styling of the port div, confirming that it's been teleported. In the next video, we'll learn how to execute code at various stages throughout Vue's lifecycle with lifecycle hooks. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.